up, Happy Gamers? I'm Happy the Happy Gamer, and welcome back to Happy Hour. It's the happiest time of oh, your, your week. week! Hope you guys had a great week. It's the weekend now, finally. If you're not an adult yet, you'll understand when you get older. Well, I guess there is school. School is nothing compared to adult life, guys. We have a loot gaming to unbox today, mainly because I just love unboxing these things with you guys and like sharing my enjoyment of what's inside them because there's always cool stuff inside them. It's, it's not always stuff that I'm gonna keep for myself and treasure and hold close and dear to my heart or anything like that. It's just, it's just all cool stuff. And I know that they get a lot of crap from a lot of people, like it's just cheap stuff or whatever. It's cool stuff, guys. And I like cool stuff, okay? Why do you gotta be so mean? So I'm actually already wearing one of them because I'm going to keep it because it's so cool. Oh, it's so cool. Bam. Dat cam. It's an Assassin's Creed black flag long sleeve shirt. It's got like really tight sleeves. I actually have never had a shirt like this before that has tight long sleeves. When I put it on, I was like, man, this is too small, but that's just the way it's supposed to be. Man, I like it. It's got these little bands around the, the arm here. See the little bands around the arm there? See them? Ch check out the, the black bands there. You see them? Pretty cool, huh? What's this? Okami Den! Guys, I like Japanese stuff, but I'm just not this into it. I don't even know what the crap this is. <laughs> Loot Crate Leftovers for you guys who like, like, the major Japanese stuff. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. That is so cool. Check this thing out. Somebody tell me what this is. I mean, I'm probably gonna Google it right after I record this, but this is so cool. I wish you guys could feel it. It's not like hollow or anything. It's really solid. It almost feels like ceramic, but it's actually plastic. You can tell it's plastic, but it feels like ceramic. Awesome, this is really cool. I won't keep this though. What else we got here? Oh! Dragon Age, the heroes of Thetis. Oh my gosh. It's been so long since I heard or read or played Dragon Age anything. I guess when Inquisition came out, which wasn't too long ago. What are you, little black bag? What do you have in here for us? Oh, it's Morrigan! Check it out! She's like a little dude! You're just like a little dude, Morrigan! All right, what the heck is this? Oh, check it out, she holds it. <laughs> she can hold it in this hand, too. It's a fireball, see? Fireball. Focus on the fireball, camera, come on. Flip is your deal. Well, that's pretty cool. I'll probably keep this for sure. I, I'm, I love Dragon Age, guys. I am a huge fan. What else we got in here? What the heck is this? Oh my gosh, this looks valuable. Oh, it's something Castlevania. Came in this little case before I open it up. It came in this little tiny case right here. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I just read on the back what it was. Check this crap out. Look at that. That is so cool! It's just a little sword replica and it actually is sharp! You could kill someone with this. What was that? That's really cool, I really like that. It won't go back in its little plastic. There it goes. This is really awesome. It comes in a really awesome tin. Uh, I'm probably gonna put this in the Loot Crate Leftovers giveaway. I liked Castlevania, but I wasn't as big a fan as most Castlevania fans are. And we have the poster! Oh my gosh, what is it? What the flip is this poster? Gosh dang it. Okay, the flip, the flip is this poster. What is this? Gosh dang it! All right, well, I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me, maybe it's like, is that like Magic the Gathering or something? Maybe it is. I don't know, I don't know, it's a poster. It's going in the leftovers giveaway. <laughs> Man, I'm so, I'm just so giving. I'm just such a kind soul. I'm just such a kind soul. And a little coin pin, this is pretty cool looking. I really like it. Bam! So that's it in that loot gaming box. Don't forget that everything that I don't keep out of it will go into the loot gate leftovers giveaway at the end of wherever, whatever I, whenever I decide to do it, whatever day, whatever month, whatever year, I could do it in 2020. No, I won't wait that long. Probably be 
It'll be the middle of next year or so that I'll do it. But for the rest of today's happy hour, guys, I want to talk to you about what's going on with YouTube. And you probably already know, if you follow anybody else on YouTube, pretty much, any of the other big YouTubers, uh, several people have said something about it. PewDiePie, obviously, has said something about it. Boogie, uh, H3H3, Ethan was the first one to say anything, as far as I know. He was the first one to really say anything about it. There could have been somebody before that. He's just a bigger YouTuber, so he was noticed first. But what is happening right now with YouTube is that it seems like they've changed their algorithm. And this is something that I've actually noticed for a while, and that's why I'm talking about it right now. Because I actually noticed it, something was wrong. I noticed something different months ago, maybe like last year even. I noticed some that something was going on. Now years ago, YouTube was pretty famous for what was called the unsub glitch, in which basically, you would upload a video and then as soon as you'd upload that video or just a little bit after you'd upload that new video, you would lose several subscribers. And what was theorized about what YouTube was doing is that YouTube was purging every channel's subscribers that weren't keeping up with the content they were subscribed to. Which honestly makes sense, but at the same time, like, what if they want to come back months later and watch content again from this channel? Like, I've done that before. You watch content on a channel for so long and you kind of get tired of it, and then you spend a couple months away from it, and then you come back to it, and you watch it again, and then all of a sudden you're a huge fan again. So, you know, I've been there, and I understand that. And I don't really understand why YouTube would do that if they are actually doing it. And what's happening right now is that people, especially the gamers, are noticing that YouTube is leaning more toward channels that have more activity, more likes, more comments, things like that. They're leaning more towards those videos and putting those in the trending category instead of putting each channel that a person is subscribed to in their suggested videos list. But back to the unsub thing, for a while there, it was, it was a pretty long while. I was noticing that almost every time I'd upload a video, I would lose a few subscribers. Just like as soon as I'd upload a new video. And it was getting me discouraged because I was like, I just don't understand why people are subscribing if they don't like my content, you know? Why would they subscribe and then as soon as I upload a new video that's not something that they really wanna watch, they just hit unsubscribe? Like what if I were to upload a video later on that they actually wanted to watch and then they'll miss out on it and it's just kinda, it, it was kinda discouraging me, you know? I thought that I was doing something wrong for a long time and I understand that sometimes people really will unsubscribe because they don't like a new video that you put up or they're just sick and tired of you or something like that. But looking at my analytics, I can see that most of the people that are unsubscribing aren't doing it from a video page. They're doing it from my channel page. So that tells me that it's not actually people unsubscribing, but YouTube purging it. Because if they were to get a notification of a new upload, they would do it from the video page itself. Most likely they would do it right there because they'd see that it was a video they didn't like and they would hit unsubscribe or they hit that little subscribe button and unsubscribe. They wouldn't go through the trouble of clicking on my channel page link and going there and then hitting unsubscribe. They would do it from the video page. So that tells me that it's YouTube who is doing it most of the time. So it actually helped me to feel a little bit more encouraged you know, and not to feel like I'm doing something wrong or I was even venting to my wife a lot about like, why subscribe to a channel that you don't like as far as all the content goes? Like, I'll, I know that a lot of people will hit the subscribe button and they use it like more than they probably should, but they just hit it every time they like one video instead of thinking about content as a whole and then they end up unsubscribing later because you upload a video the next day that they just don't really want to watch or they don't enjoy. People don't really know how to use the subscribe button. I've always said, when you subscribe to a magazine, you subscribe because you want every issue, not because you liked one of them. And I think that we should treat YouTube the same way. Like you're hitting that subscribe button, you're telling me that you like my content, but then the next day I upload another video and you unsubscribe and it tells me that you don't really like my content, you just like that one video. And it can be very disheartening and very discouraging. But anyway, YouTube has changed something and they're not really open, they're not communicating a little bit. I know that a few of the big YouTubers right now are trying to get in touch with them and trying to talk to them about stuff to see if we can get some information out of them and make some changes. But as far as we know, they're tweaking some things somewhere. And it's not really, honestly, I hate to sound like a baby, but it's just not fair. It really isn't. And I know that that sounds like a baby. And I don't mean to sound like a baby, but for, for those of us that work really, really hard 
to just make quality content. We're not focused on getting a bunch of likes and a bunch of subscribers and a bunch of comments. We don't ask for that over and over and over and over and over and over. All we're focused on and all we really want to do is just make good content that people can enjoy. And honestly, I think that that should be favored over the other stuff and the other people who are just begging for all of this superficial affirmation. <laughs> now this is obviously gonna affect small YouTubers more than it will affect large ones. Now, the large YouTubers are gonna notice that their pay is probably gonna drop and that's probably gonna be more obvious to them than anything else. But for us smaller YouTubers who don't really worry about money right now, we're just worrying about growth, growth is gonna be impacted even more because of this new thing that YouTube is doing because it will be even harder for us to get our name out and for us to be recognized and acknowledged. Now, I'm not making this video to just like ask you guys for more attention and for more likes and, sub and comments and for you to get people to subscribe to the channel and everything. I'm just, I'm trying to be informative for you so you can understand that this is something that I'm being affected by. And I don't want you to feel any pressure at all to do anything more than you're already doing. Don't feel pressured to watch every single video every single day as soon as it's uploaded and like and comment on everything. Don't feel pressured to do that, please. And I'm also not using reverse psychology. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. I don't want you to feel pressured at all to give me anything because what I do is for you. And if I get back from it, great. But what I do is for you guys, S straight up. So I just wanted to kind of inform you guys of what was going on and what you may be seeing this channel affected by in the near future, as long as YouTube doesn't change anything. And I hope that they do. I hope that they start giving us smaller guys a little bit of a chance, and I hope they give the big guys the money they deserve. Honestly, that's what I really want. So I had fun with you guys today in happy hour. I hope that you enjoyed today's happy hour. Please let me know in the comments what you think, your thoughts about everything that I talked about or even about the loot gaming stuff that we unboxed today. Don't forget to be happy this weekend, guys. Go out of your way to be nice to somebody. Something I've been thinking a lot about here lately is finding someone who knows more about something than you do and just asking them a question. Because asking somebody a question about something that they know a lot about is like really, it can make them feel really good. So like go out of your way to let somebody know that you care about what they know and that you're interested in what they like to do or what they know how to do. Now that this video is over, I'm gonna get back to playing Final Fantasy because that's what I've been doing for the last, yeah, ever since it came out. <laughs> All right, guys, I like this video. And if you like this video, please leave me a like because I would like that. Talk to me in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to stay happy. And of course, I will see you next time.